Hello Internet, this is Charlie with Hot Tips, and this tutorial is all about creating multiple partitions on your Macintosh computer uh, so that you can uh, install multiple operating systems on your hard drive. Uh, now those of you who install Windows on your Mac, which is something I do, are going to be familiar with this by using Boot Camp, but there's another way to do it to where you can create multiple partitions on your hard drive and not lose any of the data that is currently on it. So that's what we're going to be doing here, uh, and I'm doing it for my own purposes so that I can install the new OS 10 beta uh, and use the new OS 10 uh, Yosemite without affecting my work partition and without affecting my Mac that I use for work. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and spotlight search disk utility. That's going to bring up the disk utility little uh, deal here basically. And you can see I already have a bootcamp partition on my hard drive and a Macintosh HD. This is a one terabyte Apple SSD. And so the partition scheme that I currently have set up is like this. Now what this means is this entire area here is one terabyte of space. And within that one terabyte of space, I've allocated 110 gigabytes for bootcamp for my Windows NTFS filing system. Now I can't touch this unless I basically want to delete it. I can't resize it or anything like that. So this is the partition I can play with. There's currently 889.7 gigabytes of free space, uh, or uh, sorry, of total space of this partition. The highlighted blue section here is the part in which I already have used. So this is how much space I'm using, and this is how much space I have left. If I want to add a partition here, I'm going to go ahead and click this plus sign. And you're going to notice that the Macintosh HD has now split itself into two separate boxes. And I can resize this just by dragging this arrow, this little uh, bar here. Now you'll notice I also can't drag it up any higher than the data I've already used. So this is not going to allow me to prevent, uh, it's not going to allow me to resize it in a way that's going to have to delete data. And it's a terrible idea for me to do this because my main system is now going to have no free space. For the purposes of trying out the new Mac OS 10.10 .10 Yosemite, I really don't need that much space. So Macintosh HD2 is going to be used primarily just for testing that beta. And I'm going to go ahead and give it, let's say, 100 and, eh, let's give it 104.55 gigabytes. Why not? So very little space here. Gives me a ton of space for my primary disk partition. But now I'm going to have this extra one right here that's going to allow me to what is essentially install a brand new operating system that runs entirely independently from my main operating system. And I can go ahead and name this if I want. So I'm going to go ahead and name this uh, Yosemite. And that's going to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And this is going to basically do this to my hard drive. So this gives me one little, um, basically one little uh, warning box here. It says partitioning this disk will change some of the partitions. No partitions will be erased. So it's basically telling me that I'm going to add a partition called Yosemite. And I'm going to be resizing a partition that's called Macintosh HD. Now, if there's a disk that appears to be set up for boot camp, if I partition the disk, I'll not be able to use it to start my computer in Windows. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? It means that if I partition this disk the way I'm trying to do it, there's a chance that I might not be able to start my computer up in Windows. There's a chance. It's unlikely, and a lot of times it never affects Windows. But if you have something that's important in Windows, and you've already set up boot camp, you may want to think about reconsidering this. Since I really don't care about Windows at all, I'm just going to go ahead and click Partition. So there it is. And it's going to go ahead and do a journaled HFS plus volume. Now it's important that if you want to try the, uh, basically the demo, uh, the beta versions of Mac OS X Yosemite, if you want to try the developer preview and the beta releases, make sure that when you reformat a partition, this new partition is formatted Mac OS Extended Journaled. It has to be formatted this way, otherwise it's not going to work. So there you have it. I now have three partitions on my Mac, Macintosh HD, Yosemite, and Boot Camp. And I can go ahead and install the beta on Yosemite now if I want to. Thanks for watching.